Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Pillars of Eternity 2. Where we left off last time, we were headed to the Principe ships. We are going to cut through the storm and go to Ukaizu, which is going to be pretty cool, I think. It looks like the Principe are holding steady here. We're all stocked up. Also, I bought just tons. I feel that, you know, on the verge of our possible deaths, our good crew deserves a solid amount of lager, so I bought 700 lager. And I also brought them a ton of more tar loaf, so they can eat and drink relatively well until we all die horribly. I am a benevolent captain in the end. We also spent a couple thousand dollars upgrading items and they swapped around some items, so hopefully we'll be pretty good for the end of the game. I did equip sabers on our main character. I'm gonna see if it's any good. Hopefully it'll be good. I think it'll be pretty neat. There is plenty of ocean to sail and many lands to explore, but what lies ahead of you dwarfs them all. Should you choose to sail on, you suspect that there will be no return, not to the dead fire you've come to know. Go back. Alright. I always do one of these just in case then the DLC comes out, we break the game. This is be called End of Game Save. Do not save over. There we go. We're off. Continue forward. You set a course to the channel and into the uncharted turbulent seas. Andres mortar rages on the horizon, a vast wall of roiling clouds and rain punctuated by the silver flick area of lightning. The wind pushes against you, as if to ward whatever lies beyond from a super slow ship's approach. Oh, from super slow ship's approach. Super slow ship leads the fleet, crashing through the turbulent waters like an axe through armor. God's alive, Beta mutters, staring up at the storm. A lead blinks at the blackening sky. New and old salt once who claimed the mortar were the edge of the world. I called him a fool. Now, though, the navigator shakes his head sadly. Now I ain't so certain. Head bowed slightly, grim cauldron smiles. Today is as good a day for us to learn what the gods have in store for us. Shit, Captain, one of the hands cries. Hostile vessels inbound to forward port. With a shake of the head, Beidou emits a grim chuckle. Supposed to be too much to ask to be let alone out here. The scale and stars of the Valian Trading Company snaps above the many approaching ships, while others seem to be mercenary warships secured with Republic coin. The approaching fleet numbers at least as many ships as your own, and maybe more. Beadol frowns against the wind. The enemy's turning, Captain, setting their port guns against the enemy. He. The hands look to you from their stations. Beadol's eyes hold yours. The crew stands ready. What are your orders, Captain? Let them fight it out. Take us into that storm, Oswald. The deck presses against your feet as super slow ship comes about, the thunder of cannon fire vying with the thunder continuously roiling out from the mortar. Your ship straightens, bow pointed directly into the storm. You lurch forward as the deck pitches violently. You grab the aft rail to keep from going overboard. Beneath you, just below the surface of the water, swims some immense creature. It moves towards the battle, the water curling back like parted skin. On either side of the beast to reveal a monstrosity not of flesh but of slick Audra and gleaming metal. Beidel places a hand on your shoulder. We've had the gods own luck getting this far, super slow ship. Don't stand a chance against whatever that is. Our only hope is the storm. Captain, we can't let that thing near the fleet. Maya turns a panic look to you. Fire everything we got at the thing, maybe we can give them a chance. Super slow ship cannons open fire on the monstrosity, and your iron flies true. The beast cringes under the barrage as has whipping around to focus on you. That's got its attention, now let's see how it likes the mortar. Andres mortar looms before you and above you, dominating the whole of the world. Rain begins to fall. The storms of Andres mortar encompass the visible horizon. Hurricane winds roar like imprisoned beasts, blowing with enough force to warp the very seas. Just past the curtain of rain and above the swell of waves, you can just barely perceive the outline of a colossal of colossal Audra pillars. No sooner does your spectral ship drift near the turbulent waters of Andres mortar than a deadly calm falls over the sea. The wind cuts off as swiftly as a god holding their breath. Like a silken sheet, the water flattens before you. The wake of your passage forming a lone crease in its uninterrupted perfection. Wreathed in ghostly mist, you drift onward at the pace of a funerary procession. The storm holds its silence and maintains a respectful distance. Though you cannot shake the feeling of sorrow and wrongness which pervades your journey, you successfully cross the, to the far side of the mortar and breathe a sigh of relief. An island towers over the distant horizon. Kaizo. That looks amazing. Looks like a huge city. 
Ornate spires reach up from the island, hinting at the city within. Not all of Akaizu has weathered the millennia with equal grace. Other structures jut and lean out of the surrounding shallows, making the waters around the island impassable by ship. You resolve to take the skiff the rest of the way. Oh dear, we are going in. We're here. Ukaizo, late winter. Larvener? Larvener? Terravener? Whatever. I don't know what month it is. It's some month. We're here. Wow, that is not looking good for us. Is that an Audra construct dragon? Well, I hope we got an autosave. It is really, really big. The creature stares down at you with only dim recognition of your presence. Water drips down the tip of its mallet-like head. Whoa, that's a... Uh, where would you even stab something like that? Takara. And I thought I was the master of first impressions. Stay close, Ishii. That's one heavy bird. I'm not too proud to admit when I'm scared. Terrified, actually. The construct turns to the sound of speech, showing only a dim awareness of the meaning. It swivels its head back around to face you. So alone. Never alone. Exorcizo breached. A voice paws at your mind in a clumsy, unpracticed fashion. You feel something like the mental equivalent of a squint. Yes, by a colossal god made of Adra, where have you been? Here. We have been here. Where are the gates of Exorcizo? The Construct rolls its gaze towards the city. We guard the silence of Akaizo. You are a disturbance. Bronze plates grind together with a discordant shriek. I'm just trying to reach Aethys, he's the one you want. Aethys has disturbed the bones of Akaizo. The old pacts permit him to pass. But you will go no further. Akaizo is closed. The gates are barred. A wave of heat emanates from the Guardian. Before we settle this, I want some answers about Akaizo. Our covenant with the Old Ones does not forbid questions. The Construct hesitates, its joints creaking. The son of Ngati deserves to carry truth to Barath's wheel. The Construct nods into Kehu's direction. I do not plan on joining my mother in the beyond this day, Ancient One. Takehu turns his gaze over to you and nods. The Construct stares on impassively, and then offers the slightest of shrugs. The chosen people of the dead fire called Akaizo home. It stares off to the distance, fixating on one of Akaizo's many spires. The outsiders were their contemporaries, full of wisdom, ingenuity, and terrifying ambition. That sure sounds like the Ingwithans. Guess they got around. The outsiders passed from the world. None of them remain. Not all of them passed, but we got the one they left behind. The construct fixes on Edir with a quiet mixture of irritation and curiosity. Finally, it steers its focus back to you. The old ones and the outsiders traded, collaborated, learned, and built together. Outsiders augured the doom of the old ones. The rift unmade them both. A deep thrum of power echoes from somewhere beneath the construct's carapace. What caused the rift? The Outsiders coveted ancient Ukaizo. Its occupation was a hindrance. The Construct cranes its head around, as if following the movement of passers-by. Machines were built on a foundation of Outsider lies. When the machines were nearly done, the Outsiders constructed bodies of flesh and bone. Stretching its neck out, the Constructs mimic a height greater than its own. Bodies? Skeletons, now. There remains littering great Lokaizo. What were these machines? Ones which drew the spirits of the dead through a sieve. Finally, the outsiders fashioned the Guardian to stand vigil over their work. Our bond with the Old Ones compelled us to trust their allies. They offered us a trade. Eternal life for eternal service. We were ordered to slam shut the gates of Lokaizo for all time. And the Ingwithans turn this thing against my ancestors? Tikehu touches the spot on his brow and shakes his head. Necessary, son of Ngati. What happened when the machines went active? The outsiders vanished from the world, leaving the old ones dumbfounded. Quiet gave way to chaos. 
Storms battered the seas. The sleeping hearts of mountains awoke with fury. When the last screens of the old ones faded, only we remained. So no one has been here since the devastation? None but the green colossus whose every footstep disturbs tranquility. You are the first kith to visit the shores of Las Kaizo, and you will be the last. Now you know, and nothing you have learned can spare you from our obligation. May your journey through the wheel be an informed one. Takehu, what say we dismantle the creature that stood by and watch the downfall of the Huana? The Kara. Let it be so. Takehu narrows his eyes and squares his stance for a complex form. Your principles do you credit. But you have sailed here to die. The science of Okaizo will be restored. Time will dismantle your bones. Nodding the construct attacks. Oh good, we're fighting against a giant... Oh, it's, it's deflection is really bad. Like, it's got really high fortitude, decent reflex, and decent will. And its armor is pretty tough, but its deflection is really low. Where did those guys come from? Animats, really? It's not like I don't have enough things to fight. This thing isn't doing the job. Now, it's a lot of animats. Okay, what do we have for spells? We have disintegration, but that's not going to help us too much in this specific situation. You know what we could use though? Some allies. Where is that ability? Get one of those up, you. Do that. Ow. Where are you? Why are you in melee? Um, uh, we're gonna need some help. Takeo's gonna need some help. Go there, fight that. Okay, we're okay. Everything's fine at the moment. Okay, that thing's dead. Uh, we need to heal some people. Mostly those two. Although our main character is kind of hurt too, but he can heal himself, no problem. Missed our attack. Oh god, there's more sentinels coming. Uncool. Why are there so many of them? Oh, we can't even attack that thing. It's not available to be attacked at the moment. Ow. I'm gonna go with Ow. Don't stand right next to the giant dragon thing. What do you got? Do you have any healing potions or something? There we go. That's better. Now go stand over here and fight that thing. This thing isn't doing the job. They have a lot of life. There we go, 200 and something damage. Oh god, we got picked up. That is gonna suck. Oh, the dragon's back up too. Super. Go fight that. Zoti, good. You get to be right front and center for the dragon pounding your face into the ground. What's this do? Yes, do that. And you need to heal. Need to heal again. Oh, uh, we have a lot of power. Let's just do this. 
I almost killed the first one. One dead. That hurt. Let's heal again. Uh, you do that. Everything's going fine. Why are you not healing yourself? I'm good at stuck. She is paralyzed, which is unfortunate. Are you out of discipline already? Oh, we need to get you in range. Ow. Okay, do that. There we go. Alright. And then you will finish this thing off. Oh, we're out of- I just want to save my, uh... There we go. Let's get around behind it, we need to flank. And we're gonna hit it hard. Nope, that didn't work. There we go. 277 damage, that's pretty good. What are you casting now? Oh, the barrier, okay, that's fine. That'll help. And then do your... get over here. Do your heal, you... are very, very low on ability points, aren't you? What do you got? Do you have a heal lined up? That'll help. That was a lot of dudes in this fight. My lightsaber is doing pretty good, actually. What now? What the hell it became a Hydra? Now. Oh, there's Hyrx now. Apparently I'm terrified. And mind control? No, just terrified. You guys, come help with this thing right now. That one's almost dead. Come finish this one off. We can try to get this one. Uh, you can't quite do your healing yet. Good, we killed one. And you are not gonna die today, you're gonna run. Maybe. Maybe you might die. There's a distinct possibility you're gonna die. Okay, Eddier, you gotta tank the boss. You, 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 not you. You, you, you. This way. You can heal, probably. Maybe stay alive for one more round. Okay. Uh, shoot that, I guess. And you can't do a whole lot. You're out of discipline and you're out of everything. Heal yourself. Uh, I guess we can try to get a heal off. 
Why are you moving in so- Oh, I did the thing. Okay, we killed that one. No, not quite. He's not dead yet. Just die already. Alright, everyone on the Guardian again. Except for you, you're gonna run away. Let's go. 210. If I can get a flank position, we can... Do some stuff again, hopefully. That was a solid hit. We have a whole one zeal point left. We'll do what we can with it. This Guardian is pretty rough, I gotta say. But he's almost dead, I think. Hooray! Holy crap, that thing has a lot of life. Alright. We won. I guess we got a bunch of stuff. Hey, we got some stuff to upgrade weapons and armor and stuff too, because I ran out of things to upgrade with. About halfway through upgrading all my stuff. So that's pretty good. Leave it to me. We won! We even won with injuries. As you wish. I'm not even really sure what a sheezy... Did she see? She's uh, did that whole fight. But let's rest. Because that sucked. <laughs> but we won! We won, but it sucked. Oof. I should need to move this thing one sec. For 21 minutes, perfect. Alright. I'm not sure if we're at the end end of the game. I mean, we have some crafting mats, so I'm going to quickly just upgrade some things. Not that stuff, because we already did that. Superb. Legendary. Oh, that's our last legendary. Oh well. Oh, at least could make you superb. Not legendary though, but superb will help. I ran out of uh, Adraban for upgrading earlier. There, good what enough. Take care. Here we go. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff to do here. The Grand Promenade is next. Cool. I think we're going to end our video here. This is where we're going to stop and we'll continue on in the next video. So like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Take care.